The stochastic is one of the most popular indicators that traders use, which can tell when the market is overbought or oversold. However, this indicator has a major problem. It gives a lot of fake signals. And when I say a lot, it is really a lot of fake signals. And I think this is because the stochastic was created in the 50s, when the market volume was much lower than it is today. However, there is a new version of this indicator, which is readjusted to the current volatility. As you can see, it signals are more consistent and allow you to catch larger price movements. And no, you have certainly never heard of this new stochastic, as few traders know about it. But from today on, that will change, because in this video I will introduce you to this new stochastic, show how to use it and also test it on more than 5000 trades among the forex, crypto, gold and stock market to discover its efficiency. And here's a little spoiler. This will be the new top 1 indicator tested on my channel. So, this new version of the stochastic indicator is called Doda Stochastic. On the trading view, you can find two versions of it, but the only one that is free to use is this one provided by this fellow trader. In addition, you can also get the code of my version by going to the free materials channel from my free Discord community. As I told you, the Dora Stochastic is a modified version of the usual Stochastic Oscillator. It aims to provide more accurate signals because it incorporates smoothing techniques to reduce noise and improve the efficiency of the signals. It consists of two lines that fluctuate between 0 and 100, the Doda, the green line, and the Doda signal, the red one. You can also add the stochastic line if you wish. Like on the usual stochastic indicator, you can use this updated tool to filter trades from other indicators to find divergences in the market among other aspects, but in today's analysis I will analyze the efficiency of its entry signals. And how do you know where to find the signals? It is very simple. When the Doda line crosses above the Doda signal 1, it means it can be a good opportunity to enter a long position, and when the opposite is true, it means the price may drop, and so it can be a good time to enter a short position. Also, despite the default settings being actually quite nice, I have a better combination that I prefer to use, being 18 for the moving average length, 32 for the look back, and 15 for the Dodo MA length. Regarding the horizontal line, today I won't need it, because I want to test the efficiency of all the crosses that this indicator prints, and it seems that with this change the signals are even better, but will it maintain its performance over time and in different assets? Let's find out by backtesting it. So, as I usually tell you, to conduct a proper backtest you need to have first the technical system, second the risk management rules, and third the testing conditions. Regarding this last step, if you have been watching this series, you already know that my testing conditions are always the same so I can compare the different indicators I test fairly and efficiently. So I will backtest the Dollar Stochastic in 3 different timeframes, the 30 minute, the 1 hour and the daily one. On every time frame, I will use the data sample from 2022 and 2023 with all the available trading sessions with an efficient and diverse portfolio of assets from different markets, which are Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, 3 currency pairs, gold, oil, the S&P 500 index and the Apple stock. Then I will present you the results of every asset individually and also together, because for every backtest I will create a trading journal with all the trades given by the indicator in the three different timeframes. Regarding the second step, the risk management, it will also be the same one I used in the other episodes, using a 2% risk per trade, a stop loss calculated based on 2 times the average to range indicator number and by using a take profit on the 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio zone. If you'd like to know more about this risk management system, check out the first episode of this series. Finally, regarding the technical system, in addition to the dollar stochastic, I will also use a 200 period exponential moving average as a baseline, just to filter losing signals from the indicator, in a way that I will only consider entry signals from the dollar stochastic that are in the same direction as the trend given by this baseline. 
Here you have an example of a long position where the price is above the 200 exponential moving average and here you have a short trade example where the price is below the baseline. And in the two examples you can also see that the stop loss is two times the ATR pip value at the close of the signal candle and the take profit is on the 1 to 1 risk to reward ratio zone. And so these are our backtest conditions. Now the most popular way of backtesting is pretty simple to do. We just need to go back in time and check every signal manually, taking notes of the outcome on a paper or excel sheet. But as you can imagine, this is a highly exhausting process that will take us some weeks or months to perform in some assets. But if you have been watching the episodes of this testing indicator series, you already know that I like to use a special tool to backtest indicators in a quick, simple and efficient way. And for that, I will add the indicators testing bot to my charts. For those who don't know, this is an innovative tool that allows quick testing of indicators and that from week to week has new indicators added to its database. In the last episode, we had 30 indicators available to test and now we have 4 new ones. With this tool, I just need to select the indicator I would like to test and in one second I have all the results on my chart. After selecting the data sample, the risk management, the dollar stochastic with the settings I told you about and the 200 period exponential moving average with the confirmation function, we are ready to start this big analysis. As you can see, the trading bot not only displays every valid trade on the charts, but also gives me the statistics about each asset I want to backtest down below on the strategy test tab. And because I have the premium trading view plan, I can download all the trades the bot takes and that's what I'm going to do to create the trading journals. I will speed up the backtest but you can slow it down in the YouTube settings. I see you in a minute. And so, after inserting all the trades on my trading journal, here I got the results of the dollar stochastic on the 30 minute time frame, here on the 1 hour 1 and next to it on the daily time frame. And overall, the results are really impressive. But let's analyze each time frame one by one. In the 30 minutes, after more than 3200 trades, it achieved a win rate of 50.93% and a net profit of 182%. Here you can check other metrics like the profit factor and the average drawdown and also the results of every single asset. By looking at the equity chart, we can verify that in this time frame, this simple strategy is a little bit slower to get to higher profits, but it is very stable and with a growth trend, much better than most of the other indicators we have tested so far. Then, in the 1 hour time frame, things look even better. After more than 2000 trades, the dollar stochastic achieved a win rate of about 52.3% and a total net profit of 237%. Again, here you can find other metrics including the average drawdown which is much lower than the previous one and also the results from every asset which are quite consistent. But the best thing to look at is the equity chart which is impressive. The best one we have seen so far in this series. Of course, it adds some little periods of drawdown, but in a simple strategy like this one, it is not a big issue, because probably you can fix that easily with a filter or a volume indicator. And finally, on the daily time frame, after almost 100 trades, the indicator achieved a win rate of almost 55% and a net profit of 19%. Therefore, this new version of the stochastic proves to be efficient and has a lot of potential. In our ranking sheet, the dollar stochastic will beat the 
the PMO indicator and it will be our new top one indicator. If you'd like to access this ranking sheet Excel, you can do it for free. The link is in the description. On this tab, you can check all my tested trading strategies and on this one, the ranking from the indicators tested on this series, where you can also find out how you can access this indicator testing bot I showed you during the video. Just click here. And despite this being our new top one indicator, I will continue to test other indicators to try to discover others even better. So if you think you have an indicator that can beat the dollar stochastic, you can share it with me in the comments or on my free discord community and probably you will see it in a future episode of this series. So do not forget to subscribe to don't miss anything. If you enjoyed seeing my working methods and would like to work one on one with me to enhance your trading system and become a better trader, you can see all my available services on my website algotradepro.org. And that's it. Be well, thank you and I see you in the next video.